In this video, I'm going to show you how to use widgets and menus inside of your WordPress theme. Now, hopefully you've gotten a, a pretty good grasp on how to use WordPress. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to use something called widgets. And a WordPress widget, it's a small block that performs a specific function. And you can add these widgets into sidebars, into footers. There's all kinds of places that you can use your widgets and I'll show you right here on our front page this right here where it says recent posts that is a widget the recent comments that's a widget the archives that's a widget and the categories that's a widget the meta down here that's a widget and I'll show you how you can go ahead and change these so under appearance if you just go to widgets right here and click on the link that says widgets you can see the widgets that we have active. Over here on the right hand side, you can see our primary sidebar, which is the main sidebar that appears on the left. We have these six widgets that are currently in use. We have the search function, recent posts, recent comments, archives, categories, and meta. And when we go visit our site here on the left, you can see all those things are here. There's the search box, there are the recent posts, recent comments, archives, categories, and meta. And over here on the left here, it says available widgets. And these are all the different widgets that are available. We can add anything from our archives to a calendar. We could have a custom menu. And then we can also have something called text. And that's an arbitrary text or HTML bot. And very, very cool. So to get rid of these widgets, what I want to do right now, because personally for me, this is a little busy on the left-hand side here. I don't want all this stuff over here. So what you can do, if I wanted to get rid of the search, I could just click on delete, and that's going to delete that widget from the page. And if we refresh this, you can see that the search bar is gone from there. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of a bunch of these. I do want my recent posts to stay there. I want my recent comments to get rid of those. I want my archives to be gone. I want my meta to be gone. I'm going to delete that. But I do like that my categories and my recent posts are going to stay there. And if I refresh this, you're going to see that that's only, those are the only things that are going to be showing up is just my recent posts, which you can see right here, and my categories. Those are all the things that I want to show up there. Now, let's say I wanted to add something, like if I wanted to add a calendar for some reason, we could go ahead and decide where we want it to show up. In this particular theme's case, you have the primary sidebar, you have a content sidebar, and you have a footer widget area. And what I want to do is I want to add it right to the primary sidebar, so I'm going to just click on add and you can see that this is now there. Click on save. And when we refresh this page, you're going to see that we now have a calendar showing up here. Very simple, very easy. Another widget that we could add, we could add our pages and we could either go ahead, click on add that there, or we can even just click on this, hold it down, and just drag it over. We, you can see I can put it wherever I want. If I want it up top, I can have it up top. If I change my mind now, I don't want it there, I just click delete and it's gone. Now, an important widget to know about is going to be this text widget. A text widget, the primary function of a text widget, is going to allow you to add banners. Like if you have banner code for a particular affiliate offer, it's going to allow you to add that there. You can add an opt-in box to your widget, anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and add a widget, this text widget, to our sidebar right here. And I'm going to go ahead and post in some banner text. So I've got some code here for a banner that I want to use. I'm going to just place that in there. 
This is my banner code. I got this from an affiliate offer right on ClickBank. And you just paste in the HTML code right in here, click on save, and then we'll go ahead and refresh this page. And you can see that we've now got this banner right down here. And that's, that's using a text widget. Text widgets, really cool for adding HTML. It's probably the easiest way to add a banner to your site is to use the widget right here. So that's how you use widgets. Widgets, they're really good. You can see this particular, we can add on this particular theme, we can add a content sidebar to a, the right. If we wanted to add something there, we would just go ahead, drag it right over. So now our categories are gonna appear over on the right. We also have a footer widget area, appears in the footer section of the site. So if we wanted say a banner on the bottom or if we wanted some something else to appear down at the bottom, if we wanted our pages to appear down at the bottom, we could add that on there as well. You can see, we'll just go over to our site here and you can see that this new widget is added right over here on the right hand side. And then we also have our pages widget down here on the bottom. So widgets are real fun to use. You can really add a lot to your site by using widgets. You can change the look, you can make things a lot more easy to navigate. So that's how you use widgets. The next thing I wanna show you is how you go ahead and use menus. And right up at the top of the screen here, you can see on this particular theme, we have this menu here. And the menu on WordPress, the standard menu, the way that it works is it's gonna show all of your pages. So any pages that you create are gonna show up on your menu. So if I go ahead over here, I create a new page. Create a new page. Let's just call this a new page. And the content. I'm just doing this so that you can see that it's gonna show up on the menu. And now when we go ahead and refresh this page, you can see now our menu is showing a new page. So that's the standard, those are the standard menus, okay? You don't need to do anything. All your pages are gonna show up on your menu. But what if you wanted to customize your menu? So the way you do that is you just go ahead under appearance, go ahead, click on menus, and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and create a new menu. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to create a name for your menu. So I'm gonna just call this test menu and you click on create menu. And now what we can do is we can go ahead and there's some options here. It's gonna say, do you wanna automatically add new pages to your menu? No, I don't wanna do that. But I do wanna set this as the top primary menu. Okay, so I'm gonna check that off. And I decided that I only want to show certain things. I could have it show just one or two pages. I could have it show our categories. Like if I wanted it to show WordPress tutorials, I could go ahead, click add to menu and then we'll go ahead and save this menu. All right. And then when I go ahead and refresh this page, you're going to see that our menu has now changed. Now we have the WordPress tutorials up there in the menu, as opposed to the standard menu that was on there. So as you can see, you can do a lot of different things with menus. We could go ahead, go back to pages, say, hey, let's just have the sample page in our title page here as a menu. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the categories as a menu. I'm gonna go add to menu. Then we can go ahead, rearrange things. If I want the sample page to be first, or if I want this page to be first, we can change that up. And then when we go ahead, click on save menu, and we refresh this page, you can see the menu has now changed. And like I said, with different themes, menus, 
are going to work a little differently, but this is how you create a custom menu. Not too hard to use. And I hope you enjoyed this video.